Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're new here, my name is Holly. I make food and fitness content. This week's video is gonna be the final LA vlog of this trip. I am so sad that it's come to an end, but I'm just trying to keep a really positive mindset. Like I'm so grateful that I've still got at this point seven days left of my trip. So I'm just gonna make the most of it while I'm still here. But I thought it'd be super fun just to bring you guys along with me because I have some really exciting stuff planned. Tomorrow's plan is such a pinch me slash like bucket list moment like i i'm so excited for it basically i'm going on a bit of a staycation on my vacation and i'll tell you guys more tomorrow and i'll show you everything when we're there but yeah i'm just so excited and i can't wait to take you with me too today in itself has been pretty chilled i got up this morning i went down to my favorite gym in the whole world which is gold's gym on venice beach and i did an absolutely insane leg session like you know when the session just clicks i just felt like everything was flowing i felt super strong super energized so i've already had a really really good start to the week which is probably why i'm in such a good mood I have also just driven myself to Hugo's, which is a restaurant in West Hollywood. I'm basically going to be taking myself on a little solo lunch day. I feel like I haven't done many of these because I've been spending so much time with my boyfriend, which is lovely. We've been doing like lots of dates together. And I was like, I feel like I need to take myself out for lunch today. So I have actually bought my iPad and stuff. So I'm going to be doing some work while I'm just sat eating away. And then we're going to be going and doing my final food shop haul of the trip. I love American supermarkets. So I'm just going to take you guys inside with me and show you all of the amazing stuff they have. But it is like 90 degrees in this car right now. And I'm super super hungry so i'm gonna head into hugo's just sat down i got like a nice little seat outside there's just like a little patio bit around the back but i just thought i'd sit here and then this is the menu guys the menu is so good and they're really really good with allergens so they always have all of the allergens on the bottom um and everything has like it's got nuts in and everything can be changed and like adapted to your allergies which is i think why i love it so much this is the salad that i went for it's like a mediterranean salad so i think we've got some olives, some cucumber, some chicken nutrients, and some cheese on the side as well. It's like a kale salad. I don't think I've had one of these. Oh, it's really nice, tastes so fresh. I have literally just got to pavilions pavilions yeah that's where i'm doing my food shop today it's mega busy i did want to do like a walk around and talk about some things but i just know i'm gonna get in there and be like i don't want to talk because there's so many people around so we can do a cute little music video montage of the shopping experience and then when i'm back i'll do a haul of all of the bits i get There's a lot here. That ended up being a bigger food shop than I thought it was gonna be. We're gonna jump straight in because I need to talk about the cereal that I picked up. Even the man at the checkout was like, these are amazing. He was like, have you had them before? And I was like, no. They're cinnamon French toast frosted flakes. And I don't think you can get these in the UK because I've never seen them before. That was probably one of the most exciting items. So we have got that out of the way first. I'm gonna go through kind of everything because I've obviously just started eating a bit more intuitively so I didn't go into that with like a list or a pre-plan because normally I plan out my meals every single week and I think in the future I might start to do that but at the moment I'm just basically having very like simple meals just kind of focusing on making sure I'm hitting protein carbs and fat so I just kind of picked up things that I feel like will fit very easily into that so I got some shredded chicken these frozen sweet potato fries which I absolutely love some more proteins, I got some prawns and some salmon. I think I'm gonna have those this evening. Then some mango, some asparagus. Picked up loads of Uncle Ben's rice. I am obsessed with these at the moment. I got some chili garlic, coconut jasmine, and garden vegetable. Then I picked up this lovely noodle kit. I've also got loads of veggies. I've got some carrots. I've got a big thing of watermelon because I am very much on the fruit hype at the moment. Like the thing of watermelon I got. It's huge because I go through this like crazy. I also picked up some carb balance wraps. I love that they do these here. I don't think we do them in the UK, but they're literally 70 calories for a big wrap like that, which I think is so good. And 19 grams of carbs per wrap. Then I got some more of these bagels from Dave's Killer Bread. These are high protein bagels. So each bagel has 11 grams of protein in which I think is really good. So if you have those with some eggs in the morning, you're just taking off a lot of protein. Okay, these are my favorites. So I did pick these up the other week, but they're oatly ice cream so they're oatly chocolate ice creams but they've got no nuts and no dairy in and they're really really good then i also got these which have quickly become a new favorite so these are halo top fruit pops but they're only 45 calories 
pot ice cream, which I think is so good. And they are so tasty. They just taste like a little smoothie on a stick. I also just picked up some guac, some Diet Coke. Also, I've got some salsa. That is essentially it. I've got some more little bits in here, but it's just like eggs, some chewing gum, some cotton pads. Nothing very interesting. Just for like reference, just to show you guys, two fillets of salmon. So these two fillets of salmon that were fresh were $26. Like, that is extortionate. Like, why is salmon that expensive here? And that was at Pavilion. So Pavilion isn't, like, one of the most expensive supermarkets in LA. Good morning, everyone. How are we all doing? So I am just about to head off on a run before we can get cracking into today's exciting activity. Fun fact, it has actually been a day. We were supposed to be going to the fun activity that I'll be talking about in a second yesterday. But I woke up and the weather was really bad and I was just like, it was just super cloudy and cold and I was like, this isn't how I envisioned this day going. I'll explain later. So we've actually had a whole day in between. I literally had such a boring girl, stay indoors and do loads of work day. So that was basically all I did yesterday and we have now skipped a day ahead, but I'm going to head off and get a morning run in. This is going to be my first run of the week. I am struggling to decide on a distance. My legs are very achy. I'm not going to do above a 10k. I think I might set myself an 8k i think we're gonna say 8k today i feel like that's super achievable and it's not a distance that's gonna make me feel like i'm pushing too hard or like i'm just dreading it basically so i feel like 8k is a really good distance to do this morning so we're gonna head off get eight kilometers ticked off and then we'll get packing <laughs> run is done that was such a good run i can't tell you like the kind of like anxiety that i was feeling towards that run like i just woke up this morning and i felt like i was just not going to be able to do it and i just think i've just got this like internal thing at the moment that i just need to shake but runs like that really really helped because it was a really good run i felt absolutely exhausted at the end of it i was sweating buckets i just can't get over how hot it is at the moment here but i'm basically packed we've come back i've got ready and we're ready to go me and my boyfriend are heading to the Beverly Hills Hotel for the evening. I went last week, you guys would have seen my last vlog, with Lucy and it was beautiful. And I was like, oh my goodness, I just want to stay here so bad. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to like treat myself to a night in like a really fancy hotel, basically. And I'm so excited. They are a little bit funny about filming in certain areas of the hotel. So I'm going to like show you the room and everything, but I don't know how much footage I'll be able to get like if I'm by the pool or in the restaurant and things like that. The car is packed and ready. I have my stuff. I've got my boyfriend's stuff because he's actually at work so he's joining me after work i am so glad that i moved it back by a day like this is not something that like i could do every day like this is quite a big treat for me so i didn't want to go and like kind of have it not be perfect i don't know if that sounds silly so i'm just really glad that i moved it to like a sunnier day because i just want to lay out by the pool all day and it just wouldn't have been the same vibe yesterday and i just would have felt like it was kind of like wasted on like a rainy day so yeah we are on route Guys, I've just got into the room and it's so nice. And as we were coming in, we were walking the hallway and I was like, I really recognise that guy. It's Corey, Chris Jenner's boyfriend. I walked past Chris Jenner's boyfriend in the hallway at the hotel. I'm I'm one one step away from seeing Chris Jenner. Okay, I'm gonna show you the room. It is absolutely stunning. So this is as you come in. Oh, just like the bed and everything is just so nice. Big old bathroom here with a nice tub. And then, oh my god, I haven't even seen this big shower too. I really hope they have robes somewhere. Maybe in here. Oh my goodness. It really doesn't get better than that, does it? So this is actually a balcony room. So I have got a really amazing view as well of like the whole hotel. Wow. This is literally <laughs> absolutely insane. Oh, it had to be done. Oh. POA, I think I'm going to get changed and just get down by the pool and get as much sun as possible and just relax. Maybe order a mojito, maybe get some chicken tenders. So we've got back from the pool. We've literally just been sat um, in bed. The like sun went in, kind of like two hours into us being sat by the pool and it actually got a little bit chilly so we were just like sat like with our towels wrapped around us and we we're like right let's just go back to the room so we just come back we've basically just been like lying down and watching easy a on tv and had basically a little bit of a nap before we get ready for dinner but we're gonna get ready for dinner now it's just so peaceful here 
here. I just love it so much. It was so nice down by the pool we had. You would have seen the steak tacos and that giant like pina colada that I had. It was like frozen pina colada inside of that coconut. It was so nice. Um, so I had one of those. I was like, I have to get it. And then we had like a watermelon cocktail, but I didn't want to drink too much because sometimes if I drink something, so I might get really tired and then I just like fall asleep and then I wake up and I'm just like grumpy. So they just had a drink and then had a Diet Coke. I've just sat in a really cozy rows. But yeah, we're going to have a shower now, get ready and then head down to the Polo Lounge, which is the restaurant in the hotel for dinner. Good morning, guys. I have literally just got out of bed. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna apologize for the one that's saving me right now. <laughs> Number two, the lack of updates last night. I'm gonna talk to you while I get ready because I'm starving. I'm gonna head down for breakfast. Yeah, basically, we just got ready and then I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna like do some photos on my phone because I just really want to like soak it all in. Also, you can't film in like the big restaurant spaces. Yeah, so we went down to the polo lounge for dinner, which was so nice. It's so fancy. They even have like a little piano player in there, like playing music. That's when you know it's fancy. We had dinner in there. We had hummus to start, pops and pitch. And we had this hummus to start with this like amazing bread. And then we had, well, I had lamb chops for my main. And then my boyfriend had the burger. Um, it was like a Wagyu burger. It was so nice. I didn't actually try any because I just, the lamb chops were just so much, but they were like cooked to quite literal perfection. It was insane. And then we had a couple of drinks, nothing too crazy. And that leads us up to now. My boyfriend's had to go to work, so I'm just going to go down for breakfast by myself. And then, unfortunately, it is checkout time. But I feel like it's literally, we've literally been here for like 30 seconds. But it has literally been beautiful. And I'm super excited for breakfast. I'm going to get the biggest iced coffee known to man. I have just, oh my god, guys, I'm feeling so emotional right now. Not because of the hotel. <laughs> I'm really sad to be leaving the hotel. And the breakfast is really nice, but we're just driving back. Ugh. I literally said that I wasn't going to be sad this week, but like, I feel like I just, I'm having a moment. Oh, I think just like, as it creeps closer to Monday, it's just like, I'm not even like sad to be going home. Like, I am obviously, that is obviously why I'm sad, but like, I'm not sad because I'm going back to Manchester. Like, I'm so excited to see my friends and my mum and dad. And nobody pre-warned you about long distance relationships. <laughs> they don't teach you this in school. Like, it's just going to be so hard. Oh, I really need to get a grip. It just kind of like dawned on me when I was driving and I was like, oh God, like Monday is going to be so hard. Like saying bye to my boyfriend honestly i'm just being a baby <laughs> but i think just going from like living with someone and like we're like inseparable we're like we're like literally joined at the hip at the moment like we do everything together like we go to the gym together and i would literally wouldn't have it any other way but i think it's just gonna make it so much harder like i literally miss him when he goes to work in the day <laughs> how pathetic is that how am i gonna feel when i'm like thousands of miles away and it's just like that and like being on a completely different time zone like it's just not easy it's really hard and it was difficult last time, but I feel like this time it's definitely going to be a lot harder. Like I said, I'm definitely being a baby. There's definitely bigger problems in the world and I should not be crying about this, but just having a moment when I was driving. Also, listening to, like, Mimi Webb before I go definitely did not help me then. <laughs> that, like injected sadness into my body so that probably wasn't the best idea i listened to it three times <laughs> you know when like you like are kind of like oh i feel like i just need a bit of a cry and i was like i listened to it once i was like that was pretty good and i was like again and on the third time i was actually driving i had my sunglasses down and i was actually like this <laughs> so pathetic anyway oh okay i feel like i needed that you know sometimes you just feel like you just need like a little bit of a release just to get the tears out morning team we are heading off to train back i'm in the best mood because i'm heading off to gold's gym in venice which i've mentioned a million times but it's just my favorite gym ever so i'm heading down there that's probably gonna be my last session there for a really 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 long time probably which makes me really 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 sad i am on a mission to just have a really strong back like i don't think there is anything sexier than when you see a girl and she just has a really strong defined back i think that is literally one of my main focuses at the moment is i just want to feel really strong in my upper body and we've definitely made leaps and bounds since last year but this year is the year i really want to focus on it so i'm going to absolutely go and demolish my back muscles today i might do a bit of shoulders as well because i have and work those out this week we're gonna pack our bag up and take my laptop with me head down have a good session then get myself in a little cafe and get some work done because i'm a little bit stressed today <laughs> but for now we're just gonna head off and train i have a really exciting plan later that i can't take you guys with me on me with that i can't wait to take you guys with me on there we go but i'm yabbering on let's go and hit back <laughs>
I just got back from the gym. I just completely forgot where it was. The gym slash like work session that I did. I love like that little cafe. It's so nice. So I just sat there. I did like some editing and some work for like two hours. But now I'm back. I need to wash my hair because I literally feel like I have about 30 minutes to get ready before we head to the baseball game this evening, which I'm so excited for. It's the LA Dodgers versus like the San Diego something. I'm not really sure. I don't really know anything about baseball, but I went to a baseball game Oh my god, this was probably like five years ago when I was in Florida and it was so fun. Like the atmosphere was amazing. So I'm really excited. I'm also very excited because I'm definitely gonna get some form of like hot dog or like nachos. <laughs> this is the outfit that I've gone for. It's extremely basic, but I think the plan is we want to buy like jerseys when we're there. So I'm just gonna wear this. Throw a little jacket over it. I didn't end up actually washing my hair. I just went for a little slip up pony because I don't really wear my hair up, so I thought I'd try something outside my comfort zone. I actually just couldn't be bothered to wash it. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. So this is what we're doing with the hair. I think it just looks fine. It's only a baseball game, but I will see you guys when we're at the game. everyone i'm looking very slick also slightly hungover the baseball game got slightly out of hand guys like i didn't expect it to be like that crazy also that stadium i've never seen anything like that in my whole life like it was absolutely huge there was just like food everywhere drinks everywhere the atmosphere was amazing that giant blue drink that you guys would have seen me had that was absolutely lethal i think it was rum and tequila and yeah i had that my boyfriend was like what are you out of 10 i was like 10 like i'm drunk right now it was such a fun evening definitely feeling a little bit ropey this morning which wasn't really on the cards i was actually gonna go for a run this morning but it's my last asset here so i'm not gonna like put too much pressure on myself like i would have rather have enjoyed last night and like catch up on my runs next week this morning's plan basically me and my boyfriend are going out for tea tonight but i'm actually gonna like end the vlog here because i just want to really enjoy tonight also i want to get this up so you guys have a regular sunday upload again because i am holding myself to my 4 p.m on the uploads now first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna order a breakfast burrito because i feel like that is the perfect breakfast to sign this vlog off with it's not just any breakfast burrito guys i have been researching the morning away and i basically wanted to find like one of the best breakfast burritos in la because they all slap like they're all really really good here but i'm determined to find the best and when I explain this to you, you guys are going to be like, oh my goodness. This, if you're not a truffle girly, this probably won't appeal to you. But I'm ordering a breakfast burrito from Tacos to Madre. It's a breakfast burrito that has truffle guacamole. Look, my jaw dropped when I heard that that was a thing. I think I'm going to have time to go and grab a coffee and pop to CVS because I did decide to chew all of my nails off this morning. And that is not a look that I want to have for my last dinner date in LA. So I'm literally going to go and get some cheap nail polish from CVS. I'm also going to get some hair stuff because this definitely needs a wash now. It does have a hair mask in, guys. It is not actually just that greasy. I'm back. We're still burrito-less, but I did have time to go to CVS. I didn't actually get a coffee because I just thought that is a bad move on a hangover before I've had any form of food or water. Oh, the spots are really spotting right now, guys. Now we are back. I'm waiting for the burrito. I thought, to be honest, I just kind of wanted to like sit down and talk to you really because obviously this is like my last LA vlog and it's going to be my last for the foreseeable like i don't have any return plans at the moment to come back to the us so that's a little bit scary obviously i did have the minor meltdown early in the week about kind of like leaving my boyfriend it's still like not a nice thing to think about even thinking about it it's making me feel like i'm gonna cry but i'm gonna show you something if you tell anyone that i've done this like i will like this stays between me and you because this is very cheesy and it's very not like me like i feel like <laughs> this relationship has definitely brought out this like super soppy side to me which i didn't even know existed but i've just basically spent kind of like the week writing these like letters i'm gonna give to my boyfriend so there's different ones for like when we leave for like different things one if he's just feeling a bit down in the dumps one for when i go on a trip that i'm going on basically just 
like random little notes that he can kind of like read throughout the like next few weeks that we're not going to be with each other. Hopefully he likes them. I was actually writing these and I was like, I'm in my cheesy girl era right now. Like this is as cheesy as it gets. Guys, the burrito's here. Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> wow, that is a big burrito. Oh my goodness. I'm deceased. I've got some hash browns in it. This is by far the best breakfast return I've had. Truffle quack. Right guys, on this note, thank you so much. Also, just wanna say thank you so much for 40,000 subscribers. That literally, is mind blowing to me. Like my YouTube family and you guys have grown so much this year and it just means so much to me and I just love creating YouTube content. So it's nice to know that you guys are enjoying it enough to subscribe as well. But thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you when I'm back in the UK.